Today we are going to write a simple program in Python. We are going to use Python to determine how many times certain words are used in a song. So we're going to grab the lyrics from a site called lyrics.ovh. So you can see here lyrics.ovh, it's actually just an API and it allows us to search for um, any song and get the lyrics for that song. So you can see an example here, we're just using Taylor Swift as the artist and the name of the song is Delicate. When we make a get request to this endpoint, what happens is we get back some JSON with, um, with some song lyrics. If you look at the raw response, that's what it is. I just have a plugin installed here that will just specify the JSON, I guess. So that's that. Back to my editor. I'm actually using PyCharm for this. Uh, if you haven't used PyCharm before, uh, I suggest take a look. It's really good. You can, there's a free version out there and also a uh, com uh, early access program one as well. So um, I, I would advise uh, taking a look at that. Okay guys, so let's get started. The first thing we do is we're going to create a Python file. We can just call it Lyric uh, Stats. Uh, I'm going to make it a bit larger here. First thing we're going to have is just, uh, let's say our variables, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Um, the first thing we're going to have is artist. For now, we can just make that Taylor Swift just to match the example we had before. Um, then we can have song title and the song title will be delicate. Then we're going to have a dictionary of keywords. So really all this is going to be is just a list of words that we're going to search for in the song lyrics next we're going to have uh, the url so i'm just going to copy it here um, this is going to be the url obviously of the um, of the api and um, what we can do is since it's a get request and it requires the parameters in the url what we're going to do is first it requires the artist then I think it's going to have to require a forward slash. Then we're going to put in the song title. So I believe that's all we need for now. And we can just go into the next step, which would be fetching the lyrics. So fetch lyrics. First thing we're going to do is create a response variable and we're going to type out requests. Um, notice that we don't actually have this imported. So let's import this name. Can it just import like this? So from URL lib, I think that should be okay. We can just, uh, we can do URL lib import request. That should be fine. Let's take a look. So we do request.get and we can just pass get the URL. Now the thing is complaining. Let's just do it manually. We can do import requests. Okay. So this needs to be requests. Right. So now that should be better. Um, the next thing we can do is JSON data because what's going to happen is that once we hit the URL with the get request, what's going to happen is that the API is going to send us a, a back JSON. So what we want to do is do JSON dot loads so now let's see if we can just import json there we go that's a bit strange that it does that uh, no module name requests not sure why it's complaining about that install package requests okay i guess it's installing the package at the bottom you can see here okay yep it stopped complaining so that's fine Looks like you just have to import that package if you don't have it already. So json.loads, we can just take the response. So let's quickly run this by right clicking and run lyrics. You can see we have some output here. JSON loads response, uh, type, uh, type error, the JSON object must be a string. So I think I just forgot to put content here. So we're gonna rerun this. Yep, it's fine, it's processed fine. What we can do is use the debugger. Uh, so I just left clicked here, put in a breakpoint, and I'm gonna run the debugger. And you can see now, it actually so shows a little bit more detail about what's happening. 
And in this panel here, you can see we have response, which matches the response up here. You can see it's uh, set to 200. But there's also extra information here. You can see content, that's what we grabbed. And you can see that it's actually uh, a whole bunch of data here. Then we're going to load it into this JSON.loads. So let's step over. And it's actually going to die. That's fine. Okay, let's try rerunning that. Okay, so now we have response, JSON data. I don't think it's actually going to go to JSON data. Okay, that's fine. That's fine for now. So um, what we can do then is say lyrics. If you remember from that node, let me just show you that node. We actually have a lyrics node uh, in the response from the endpoint. So let's go back to PyCharm. And what we can do is JSON data. And you see JSON.loads actually takes the JSON and puts it into a dictionary, I think it is. So what we can do is just type in lyrics here. And um, if we print lyrics, we should just have a string. And there you go. You can see all the lyrics are now printing out from the endpoint, which is great. So um, how about we put a breakpoint in, activate the debugger, and now it's gone all the way down here. You can see we have JSON data, class dictionary. Um, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. And it's just a little bit easier to see it here. So JSON data, let's look for JSON data. You can see that it's a string. Um, first it's a dictionary, then we have lyrics and we have that string. So now that we have the lyrics as a string, what we can do is we get rid of that. Um, so let's determine determine how many times the keywords are used in this song. So remember we have the keywords from up top here. So far we only have the word drink. And we're just gonna go on to the next line. I'm not sure why that's still highlighted blue. Maybe it's a bit of a bug. Um, so let's create a new dictionary here called statistics. We can just leave it as an empty dictionary for now. And then we can loop through, so for keyword in keywords. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through this dictionary and we're gonna take the statistics dictionary and we're gonna say, okay, so for this keyword, we're gonna keep a record of lyrics.count for this keyword. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going through each word or each item in this dictionary and it's I'm obviously setting it to keyword and what I'm doing is in this new directory I'm just setting a new item called keyword and I'm going to each lyric and or actually going to just the, the massive string that's just lyrics. So out of all the lyrics in the song we're just finding the count of that keyword. So now, uh, if I just need that up, now if I just print keywords, let's see what we get for statistics. So let's run this. Okay, invalid is just missing a uh, colon. Let's re rerun that. Okay, cool. So now it's identified that the word drink has been used three times. Let's just quickly take a look here find drink and you can see Chrome also determines that there's three instances of drink. So that's how simple, simple it is just to make a post request or a get request in Python. How simple it is just to count the amount of times a word is being used in the string. Um, you can make it a little bit more complicated than this. Let's see um, if it does more words properly. Um, let's see. No. So the word no is used quite a few times, actually eight times. Let's see if our little program discovers that as well. And we can rerun this. And yes, it discovers this as well. So um, something simple like this can be used to produce quite uh, nice statistics. I mean, maybe we can loop through all the lyrics for the entire album and see how many times she's used um, certain words. I think I saw a uh, in, uh, I think it was like a like a graph somewhere that showed how many times Taylor Swift referenced alcohol or drinking and stuff uh, in her latest album in comparison to a 
her first album. And it's quite it's quite fun to see stats like that. So this is how you could do it in Python. Just a very simple implementation. Hopefully you find this useful, guys. Thanks for watching.